It is the first of the first 2012. Congratulations, you made it. Um, this is tonight's climate change update. I hope everybody had a good time last night. Uh, not too hungover. So let's go ahead and get started on the extinction protocol. Sudden ionospheric disturbance reported over Europe as sun unleashes more flares. Today around 1320 UT, a wave of ionization swept through the high atmosphere over Europe after sunspot AR-1389 unleashed another M2 class solar flare. There was a very clear sudden ionospheric disturbance on my VLF radio instruments, um, reported one of the scientists out of Norway. And uh, they're expecting more M-class flares and a 5% chance of X-class flares coming from the sun here. Arsonists in Los Angeles ring in 2012 with an un unmitigated string of fires set across the city. Apparently for the last two days, there's been the string of uh, crazy fires going on. People setting cars on fire and those are setting buildings on fire and they're... Uh, setting up for a, a pretty crazy New Year's Eve in Los Angeles. 4.0 magnitude earthquake rattles northeastern Ohio. The latest in a series of minor earthquakes in northeast Ohio hit on Saturday, sending some stunned residents running for cover as bookshelves shook the pictures and lamps fell from tables. The magnitude 4.0 uh, quake struck Saturday afternoon in McDonald, outside Youngstown, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Area re residents said a loud boom accompanied the shaking, but sheriff dispatchers from several counties in the area said there was no immediate reports of damage. Evacuation ordered as Chile's Torres del Paine National Park goes up in flames. The authorities in Chile have closed one of the country's most popular national parks as a massive forest fire continues to rage through the area. 400 tourists were evacuated um, on Thursday as firefighters failed to stem the blaze. Offic officials say more than 85 square kilometers have been destroyed. And uh, it's an extreme scenario. Chinese man dies of highly virulent strain of H5N1 flu and that's the guy they've been reporting on the last few days apparently he has died uh, he had no contact with birds whatsoever kind of thing that's about all new they have today over to the watchers of uh, volcanic activities at the start of 2012 we are entering 2012 with an ongoing volcanic activities at El Hero Canary Islands uh, Guatemala Got two in Kamachka, Russia, Kilauea in Hawaii, Mexico, Chile, um, Sakujima in Japan. Six Indonesian volcanoes are now on high alert. Uh, Mount Maripai, Cleveland volcano. New activity reported in Colombia, Ecuador, the Philippines. Uh, Congo, another one in Indonesia, Colombia, and that, of course, the one I've been reporting in Yemen that's developing the new island in the Red Sea. So we've got a lot of new volcanic activity right here the first day of the year. Over to the Ice Age now, we have two 4.3 earthquakes hit to USA today, one in Ohio and the other one in Oklahoma. And of course, Oklahoma's been shaken pretty good for the last few months if you've been paying any kind of attention at all. Up to 20 inches of snow from Michigan. Blizzard watch in effect from Sunday afternoon through Monday evening. National Weather Service for Gaylord, Michigan. Major winter storm to start off the new year. And they're saying, um, yeah, it's just going to be a big snowstorm. Over to the RSOE. Uh, we got flooding reported out of Zimbabwe, the northern and eastern regions. Heat wave in Antarctica. They are having very unseasonably warm record uh, temperatures down there. Extreme weather in New Zealand. Heavy torrential downpours range. Um, the, the holiday campers, because it's summertime down there, have to be uh, evacuated from the river beds and they're saying the campgrounds are full and people are still going to continue to camp no matter what the weather kind of thing. 
And uh, of course the big forest fire in Chile. That's about all climate change I have for you today over to the e, &E News. Um, they've got NHK starting to broadcast the truth. Large increase in brain tumors and cancers near nuclear plant. Everyone died. Just I'm alive. It's killing me, says 18-year-old. Government kept telling them the ICRP says safe. December 30th, UM nuclear professor shows photo indicating damage to rack and irradiated fuel in spent fuel pool number four, and that's the one Arnie Gunderson's worried about falling over. Fukushima commander, I thought Japan was finished. Expansion of evacuation zone up to 200 kilometers was repeatedly simulated, but they never did do it, did they? And a UN agency's report of second explosion at reactor number three must have been made after consulting with the RSMC Tokyo. And that's about all new they have tonight. And again, uh, here it is 2012 and everybody's expecting a, a lot of things, especially after our, our record setting 2011, uh, record breaking all across the board, temperatures, weather, earthquakes, volcanoes. Uh, the works. Here's to you everybody. I hope you had a great day. Enjoy while you can. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot.